Let's balance the net ionic equation for CSOH plus H2SO4. So to start out, we'll balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. Looks like if I put a two in front of the cesium hydroxide and then to balance the hydrogens and oxygens, a two in front of the water, that balances the molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. That looks like this. Cesium hydroxide, that's a strong base. Sulfuric acid's a strong acid, so these will dissociate into their ions. Sulfates in general are soluble, especially with a group one element like cesium. So we have aqueous here, it's soluble. Water, that's a liquid. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So everything with aqueous, we split up, but the water, the liquid, we do keep that together in a net ionic equation. So now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of our net ionic equation. So in the reactants, I can see two cesium ions and in the products. So these are spectator ions. Let's cross those out. Here's a sulfate ion in the reactants and in the products spectator ion, cross it out. What's left, that's our net ionic equation for CSOH plus H2SO4. Let's clean it up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for our cesium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. You'll note charges balance. We have two times one plus, that's two plus, two times one minus, that's two minus. So this gives us a net charge of zero. The water here, that's neutral, net charge of zero. The atoms are balanced as well. Because we have a two in front of each substance, we can reduce that down to one since these are the same. And we don't write the one by convention. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CSOH plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.